Hi, this is JB from Not Allies Over Arkham. This time we are playing the brand new Europac Venom against Claw on standard difficulty. I am using the pre-built Justice deck for Venom, which is pretty heavy with uh, weapons, so let's see how that works. Uh, we are playing Claw on standard difficulty, but instead of the Masters of Evil modular set, I decided to spice the deck up a bit and add the Scorpion modular set, and which is a mess of things, and also the uh, Legions of Hydra modular sets. So let's see how this goes and if Venom can beat Claw. So let's get started. So I have reshuffled the decks and I've set up the scenario. The defense network is in play. The only thing we need to do is split the main scheme, which will tell us to discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until we hit a minion. And right away uh, we hit an armored guard, which has tough, so we'll put that into play. Let's draw our opening hand. get uh, Power of Justice, Plasma Pistol, Locked and Loaded, Run and Gun, making an entrance and Run and Gun. Uh, we really don't need the Run and Guns right at the start. Um, I think we can keep the Plasma Pistol. And uh, Making an entrance is uh, maybe not that important, although we could... Well, uh, yeah, let's just shuffle that. Lock and load it lets us look for a weapon, so it will keep that. And uh, let's draw the replacement card, so Savage Attack, Multigun and Sonic Rifle. So. <laughs> Uh, right away we have plenty of weapons and uh, then we do the armed and ready so we discard cards until we hit a, a weapon upgrade so we get another plasma pistol okay uh, let's start playing so um, right away i'm using the power of justice and one of the uh, plasma pistols to get the sonic rifle into play and it comes with two charge counters and uh, we gain overkill if we commit only. Okay, we could do this, so. Yeah. I'll use the lock and load it to search for weapon. I think we might save this, so I'll. Use lock and loaded, search your deck for a weapon, upgrade and add it to your hand, shuffle your deck. So I am looking for another plasma pistol. So that right right from the get-go. So we'll shuffle our deck. This is because I think I'm going to use those plasma pistols to play the savage attack. I'll save the Maldigan for next turn to play that but just so that we can get rid of that armor, armed guard and with only using the um, energy resources to play savage attack we gain over a kill so we don't lose any of that 5 damage we are dealing so the 2 damage carries over to 4 ok, uh, let's flip to Venom and uh, Venom will hit the top off. Then I will play Savage Attack, dealing 3 here and 2 here. So we get rid of the armed guard. And I think that is our whole turn. Are we ready up? I'm not going to use the. Actually, I'll use this also. 
before we end so that I will confuse claw so next turn we can uh, deal damage with it then we'll ready we'll draw back up the hive we get uh, spider sense venom's pistol side holster and resourceful so I'm thinking of maybe waiting still more for the multicon but getting the spider sense into play and that is the hero turn we'll go to the villain phase so we add one threat to the main scheme so attacks I won't defend yet so we draw two boost cards so zero plus uh, exhaust we get we take three damage so not the ideal start but it is what it is encounter card for this turn is a tail sweep when revealed scorpion attacks your hero if no attacks were made this way you are stunned so we are all so stunned which is not nice but uh, luckily this isn't a uh, attack it's just exhaust on rifle and remove one charge counter from it confuse an enemy and confuse till three damage so we could still do that before we head to alter ego so that is the first turn let's go to the next turn so we start our turn exhausted and stunned which isn't ideal i'll use the side holster and resourceful to play spider sense mm. we are happy just waiting here. Mm, I'm debating. Maybe I'll just play the Venom's Pistol and forget the Multigun for now. So I'll play Venom's Pistol just to have it ready. And uh, we'll deal 3 damage here. That is all we can do. We ready up. I'll draw back up to five. We get scare tactic, side holster, sonic rifle, strength, and another sonic rifle. We'll go to the villain phase. We add a threat to the main scheme, low attacks, and. Uh, I think I still won't defend so we can remove the stun. So, claw attacks. Uh, we take two damage, nothing special. Then we get an encounter card, and it is tail sweep. And uh, we are still stunned, so we can't get an extra stun, so that is okay. That is the villain. Oh, yeah, and uh, because we, we took an attack, we draw a card get an ener energy which is really good for next turn so that is that turn let's go to the next turn so we can play the scare tactic I'm using the side holster to play it we deal three damage then I think I'll play sonic Rifle number two, and remember we have an extra slot for uh, these restricted cars uh, with Venom. So I'm immediately using this to deal three damage here. So Claw is down to one health. I'll remove the stun. I'm actually thinking of staying in. Hero mode, one more turn, because we are getting an extra card. Next turn we can get rid of uh, defense network, and maybe then head to alter ego. So we ready up. We draw back up to five. We get grasping tendrils, Star Lord, uh, check Weaver 2.0. Another grasping tendrils and uh, strength. 
Okay, so this is actually really good. We can stun the villain, which is quite nice. And we have a strength for it, that's really good. Okay, so that is the hero phase, we will go to the villain phase. We add another threat to the main scheme. Uh, claw attacks, so hero interrupt. When the villain initiates an attack against you, cancel that attack. If you paid for this card using only physical resources, stun the villain. So we'll play that with strength, but still we draw a card. And the spider sends, and we get to run and gun. And we stun Claw, we get an encounter card, and it is gang up, so we remove the stun. That is all we can do. So that is the villain phase, let's go to the next hero phase. So I am thinking of uh, playing Star Lord. So I'll use the Run and Gun and Project Rebirth 2.0 to play Star Lord. When we play Star Lord, uh, we get a forced response after Star Lord and just play under your control. Deal yourself one face down and counter card. So we get an extra and counter card for next uh, round. Uh, Star Lord will um, port this away. So we have a way to remove threat from the main scheme. So I'm using Venom's Pistol to boost my sword by one. So we remove two from here. And uh, I think we are good. I'll save the Grasping Tendrils uh, for close next att attack. So we're ready up. We draw back up to five. We get scare tactic behind enemy lines, making an entrance, the gnomes pistol, and we have the grasping tendrils. We go to the villain phase, we add a threat, claw attacks. I will play the grasping tendrils. Uh, I don't have uh, resources to stun, so I'm just using uh, making an entrance, and uh, I think want to place the scare tactics because we want to utilize the confused so I also want to play the behind him um, I think we're fine so I'm using the behind enemy lines to play that so we cancel that attack and we get to encounter cards first is struggle for control so, uh, we have to decide, do we want to flip to Alter Ego? Uh, yeah, we'll flip to Alter Ego and uh, exhaust, so we take two damage. We don't want to get the symbiotes into play yet. And the second one is uh, Sonic Converter, so it attaches to four. So now Claw has plus one attack, and after Claw attacks and damages a character, stun that character. So we might want to get rid of that. But that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. We don't have a lot to play, so I think I will just. Oh, uh, yeah. Um... We got an attack, so I forgot the spider sense, so I'll just destroy it now. Jack flag doesn't help us enough. Well, it saves the venomous beast, so because now we can play the scare tactic with the jack flag. Okay, uh, we'll just flip to hero mode. And uh, Star Lord will hit Claw. So we advance to phase 2. We search for the Immortal Claw. And then we shuffle the encounter deck. And uh, Claw has 18 health, so 
have to deal with that, so... Then we also add 10 on the immortal four. Comes into play with three threats, so we need to. Actually, I think I messed up. Um, uh, the defense network should have had one more threat on it. So I will back up. So. I will thwart that off with Venom, add hit to here, thwart it off of that, so that should be correct now. But yeah, the, this comes into play with 3, and it gives a acceleration token here, and uh, let's see. Uh, Let's just use the Sonic Rifle, deal 3 here, and uh, let's play Scare Tactics, actually keeping on to Jack Black because we want to play him next turn, so I'll use the Venom's Pistol to play Scare Tactics to deal 3 damage here. That is our turn, we are ready up, we draw back up to 5, ok nice we got the power of justice for playing Jack Black next turn, so we have power of justice, scare tactic behind enemy lines, side holster and Jack Black, say so some decisions to be made next turn, but uh, we'll go to the villain phase, uh, we add 2 here so unfortunately Advances. Okay, so we discard until we hit a minion. Hopefully, yeah, well, Hydra Soldier. Okay, and uh, we advance to B. Uh, we need to try to get rid of the Immortal Claw, then uh, try to uh, burst down Claw. So Claw attacks, I'll draw a card, Star-Lord will defend, so 3 damage and Star-Lord is defeated. The Hydra Soldier attacks, I'll just take the damage with Venom. Down to three and encounter card for this turn is assault, so we have to defend. And uh, we put the weapon from or into play, we don't take any damage, so we don't get stunned, but that is a bit annoying. Oh, yeah, and we draw another card that helps. Okay, well, that is the villain phase see what we can do in the next hero phase. So it might be that we should wait until playing check flag and rather use behind enemy lines to remove the immortal claw, head, out, head down to alter ego to heal a bit and uh, go from there. So uh, behind enemy lines I'll use Oh yeah, we also can confuse it. Music. Save that. I think uh, confusing an enemy is not that important right that at this moment, so uh, we'll use the side holster. And, uh, okay, let's think about it a bit more. We really want to save a uh, Jack Black. Could just uh, use scare tactics and uh, 
really want to get rid of the Hydra Soldier also, so Savage Attack should be also useful. Maybe we're just ignore the Scare Tactics. So these two for behind enemy lines and uh, maybe, yeah, these two for Savage Attack. Or can we get, yeah, we can, we can get only energies for Savage Attack, so we get one damage for, okay, so side holster and uh, scare tactic for behind enemy lines, we remove three from a scheme, we don't get the extra bonus from that, then uh, we'll use the power of justice and resourceful a savage attack, we are only using energy resources. So we deal four here, and one goes through the floor. And Claw only has 11 health left. And we get an extra encounter card from Hydra Soldier, which is unfortunate, but what can we do? Uh, we'll flip to Alter Ego, so we can deal next turn. And that is our turn, we draw back up to six. And we run out of our deck, so we get another encounter card, so this might be a rough turn coming up, but hopefully we can manage. And at least Claw is not uh, scheming because of the Confused. So we draw two more cards. Run and gun and Plasma Pistol. A genius making an entrance. Resourceful and Jack Flag. Okay. Try to play Jack Flag next turn also. We go to the villain phase. We add a threat to the main scheme. Claw tries to uh, scheme but is confused, so we're confused. Then uh, Weapons Runner will scheme for one. Then we get encounter cards. Madam Hydra. So, Madam Hydra, Gang Up, Surges, uh, Close Vengeance, uh, we are in Alter Ego, so we discard one card at random from our hand, so let's shuffle these, and hopefully we don't lose the double resource for the ally, so let's lose. Okay, so we will lose uh, resourceful, which is fine. Then the last card is Sun Manipulation. Four heals, four damage. That's it's fine. So we'll just change that to five. Fifteen health to go. Well, uh, that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. We should be readied after the last turn, so I'll heal up four. So we are up to seven health. Not ideal. And uh, we'll flip to hero mode. I'll use run and gun, so I'll ready Venom and each weapon upgrade to control. Actually, before that, I'll yeah, let's, let's do it like so. Um, so we run and gun ready. Then uh, I think I will have to I'll have to just try to hit the Madam Hydra a couple of times, so... 
heal. Let's think about it. We even run and gun. It's quite expensive and we're just getting free. So let's back up. Yeah, let's rather play Jack Flag. So I'm using uh, Genius and Run and Gun. I'll keep the Genius for next turn. No. Do it like so. So we'll play Jack Flag and Jack Flag will Ward. And we place one ammo counter on him. And these are, by the way, the crossbones ammo counters. So multi-use, nice. Getting to use them out outside of the uh, crossbones encounter. So we'll uh, port for two. And that is our turn. Ready up, draw back up to five. We get strength, making an entrance, savage attack, scare tactics, and plasma pistol. We'll go to the villain phase. We add a threat to the main scheme, claw attacks. I will defend for it. So, claw hits for. Two plus the weapons from our into play. So we take no damage so we don't get the stun. And Madame Hydra hits for two. Uh, weapons runners hit for two, so I'm back down to three. And the encounter card is uh, Solid Sun. Solid Sun Buddy, so. Both against retaliate which is uh, quite nasty okay well oh yeah and we draw a card after claw attacked us so we get grasping tendrils so that is the villain phase let's go to the next hero phase well this is quite an annoying situation we have too many minions in play we need to get rid of madame hydra at least so I think I'm using Jack Flag to remove the ammo counter, dealing 2 damage here. Then I'll use Savage Attack. I'll pay it uh, with... We can't get overkill for it, so... Using Making an Entry and Scare Tactics for Savage Attack. So we deal 5 here and defeat Madame Hydra. And... Uh, we we'll save these for the villain phase. I know, we'll just uh, play the plasma pistol. And now we have to discard something, so we discard one of the sonic rifles. But we are out of uh, restricted slots. Uh, we keep the grasping tendrils, we ready up. And we draw back up to 5. We get the multi-gun, sonic rifle, savage attack, plasma pistol, and we have the grasping tendrils. Uh, we'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat here. Uh, claw attacks, I'll draw a card. Then I will use... I have to use the multi-gun, unfortunately, to get the stun. So we'll use Project Rebirth. Actually, we kind of want to save uh, use savage attack and the multigun for the grasping tendrils so we stun the villain and cancel the attack then uh, the weapons runners hit I'll take one with uh, jet lag I won't. I'll just take both with uh, Venom and hope we don't hit anything bad. So, mm, encounter guard is armored guard, which is fine, doesn't attack us. So, that is the villain phase. 
let's go to the next hero phase. So let's see, we want to play the Project Creepers to go down to Alter Ego to heal. So let's ward. Get an M counter. I will um, attack and defeat one of these. And I will. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the charges from here, so I'll use this to deal one damage on the, this guy. And. Uh, He'll uh, go to Alter Ego. Sonic Rifle to play with uh, Project Rebirth, and I'll use the Project Rebirth to heal three. We'll keep the Plasma Pistol, and uh, we ready up. We get uh, Power of Justice, Scare Tactic, Run and Gun, Grasping Tendrils, Side Holster and Plasma Pistol. Uh, we'll go to the Villain Phase, we add one threat to the main scheme. Claw schemes for 2 plus 2, so 4. And that guy schemes for 1, so we are at 6. Pretty, pretty close to threatening up. Uh, encounter card for this turn is <laughs> Shadows of the Past. So I think this is game for us because we get uh, Clintrack Frenzy and Shadow of the Past says put your set aside Nemesis sky, side scheme in play and also we have to reveal your set aside Nemesis minion and put it into play engaged with you. And we have four. <laughs> Four Nemesis minions in uh, in our Nemesis deck, so I think this is curtains for Venom. Unfortunately, mm. still let's play it out. So uh, that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. Got ready this, so I'll actually just heal three more damage. Uh, we really can't afford. So these have guard and patrol, so we can't remove threat from the main scheme as long as those are in play. Which is quite nasty. So let's see how much we can deal with this. So I'll just uh, defeat one of these. Mm, we'll flip. We don't get, have any way to add Confused, so this is useless, so we'll use that. And the side holster to play another Plasma Pistol. And let's get rid of this. Then uh, we'll use these two. To get rid of one. We'll Rid of one and uh, we are one resource short from uh, run and gunning. Actually, uh, we could back up and yeah, let's back up so I won't heal. I'll draw a card with this. So now we have enough resources to play the run and gun. So Bit of backseas, but uh, this is the first game I'm playing with this deck, so have to keep that in mind. So we're ready. Everything. Then Venom will defeat this guy. We deal one damage here. And we remove the tough. And that is our turn. Uh, we're ready up. 
Control back up to five. We still might make it, except that that deals us extra encounter cards, which is really nasty. So we have a side holster behind enemy lines, power of justice, resourceful, and run and gun. Okay. Mm, we go to the villain phase, we add one threat here. Claw attacks is stunned, we remove the stun, and we get an encounter card. We also get an acceleration token. We shuffle the encounter discard pile to form a new encounter deck. So uh, we get an extra encounter card from there. We get armor guard and armor guard, so. We are not getting through the call anytime soon, but um, at least we are not uh, dead yet. So that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. So I think Jack Flag will just start by working up this. Then I will play behind enemy lines. I'll use. Um, Resourceful and the power of justice, so we can also confuse the villain. And we remove three thread from here. And we still have to just play the side holster because we don't have enough resources to play the run and gun. And uh, I think I will using the Venom Pistol, so Tort for 2 here, Clip to Alter Ego, Heal for 3 damage, and that is our turn, uh, we ready up, and we draw back up to 6, we get Venom Pistol, behind the line, Side Holster, Star Lord, Plasma pistol and run and gun. So we still have plenty of ways to um, try to survive. Uh, we go to the villain phase. We add food threat here. And, uh, we remove the confused. These guys have zero scheming, so that's good. And we get an encounter card, and it is a Hydra soldier, so <laughs> even more guards. So that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. Okay, well, run and gun is not that useful this turn because we only have one charge on one weapon. So um, I'll just heal and heal. So heal for seven. That's count. Actually, just heal for three. So we are at ten because. Um, over heal, so to speak. So I'll click to he hero mode. I play that behind enemy lines and use pistol. And run and gun. Here we move three. I'll play Star Lord. Take an extra encounter card for playing Star Lord, and Star Lord will deal two damage to the Hydra Soldier. And that is our turn. We ready up. Oh yeah, uh, Venom will hit the Hydra Soldier and defeat it. And that is our turn. Get an extra encounter card for decking out. So I think this might be this might be the last turn if we hit really nasty uh, encounter cards. Well, we'll see. I'm really happy we were uh, able to <laughs> defeat all of the um, symbiotes at least. So we got to see how those function. So that's nice. So we still draw one more. We have a plasma pistol, 
energy, scare tactics, make him an entrance, and lock and load it. We go to the villain phase, we add two threat here. Uh, low attacks. I think Star Lord will defend. So low attacks for. Yeah, for three damage, which is enough. At least the uh, Venom isn't stunned. These guys hit for three damage total. Then we get four encounter cards, so this might be game. So another Hydra Soldier. Hillel Gal Arms Factory. So this gets four. Then Tail Sweep, uh, we are stunned. And uh, Coat of Guard, discard an upgrade or support your control. And I think the weapon side holster will go. And that is it. Or actually, mm, just discard one of the plasma pistols because we have a replacement in, at hand. Okay, so uh, still we, <laughs> we are surviving. So uh, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. So these are wrong markers. So okay, we are stunned. We can still play the plasma pistol, and maybe we just remove the stunned because. Uh, we'll use lock and load it to play making an entrance v4 for four remove this and we uh, removed all threat from a scheme so we can heal two damage from our hero then we'll play Actually keep the lock loaded. I'll actually keep the. Uh, we keep the plasma pistol. So we play the plasma pistol, and uh, then we use the plasma pistols to deal damage somewhere. Uh, let's just try to. Work down the Hydra Soldier, and uh, we should have drawn a card uh, with the Spider Sense last turn, but it is what it is. Uh, might as well draw it now, and uh, we could actually have played the second one, so we could heal two more. Okay, I'm, I'm right on track now, so we'll draw back up to five. We get Sonic Rifle, behind enemy lines, Savage Attack, Pistol and Side Holster. So that is that turn, and we go to the villain phase, we add two threats here. Uh, claw Attacks, we draw a card. Uh, we are already stunned, so we just take the attack. We take four damage. Then all of these hit for five, and uh, encounter card for this turn is close vengeance. Um, who attacks you if this attack deals damage? Place one threat on the main scheme. Okay, now we have to defend. I think this might be game. So it just isn't. So we defend for two. Uh, this should be ready. So I could actually. Use this to boost it up to three, so we take no damage. Okay, well, we survived that, so that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Okay, um, we could play behind enemy lines. I'll use this, so remove three threat, confuse the villain. Then I will 
Actually... Oh yeah, we are stunned, so the savage attack doesn't do anything. That's annoying. We just play... The sonic rifle. Now we have the holster, so we have room for it. And uh, we can actually deal free damage here. And this isn't an attack, so we don't take a retaliate for this. And uh, I think we have to flip to our go. Oh yeah, and let's just keep on pinging this guy so we can kill it next turn. And of course, uh, it's not an attack, so we uh, don't mind the guard enemies. But that is the hero phase. You ready up? Uh, we we'll heal this before we end our turn, so we're up to five. We draw back up to. Six. This is going to be a long game, <laughs> apparently. Uh, we are uh, we are able to uh, come back from these difficult situations for now, but uh, we get resourceful, multi gun, run and gun, resourceful, grasping tendrils, and jack flag. We go to the villain phase. We add two threat here. We remove the confuse. And we add one threat from the Hydra Soldier. Then we get an encounter card, and it is mess of things. Place two additional threats here for each stunned friendly character. It is one, so four. That is still uh, annoying, but okay for now. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. So um, again, I'm healing for three. So we can, can do something else. So we'll flip and uh, we'll just defeat the Hydra Soldier with this. And extra encounter card. Then uh, we have some choices. Uh, we could play Jack Flag or Multi Gun. Actually, playing the Multi Gun would, would give us an out for so we can just ping uh, Claw because it's a hero action and not an attack. So uh, we'll use Run and Gun. Resourceful and resourceful to play Multigun and we'll discard this and we'll, uh, we'll deal two damage to an enemy and that is all we can do oh no it's not we can use this and this so we'll just use this to confuse four and we will thwart for can't remove this, so we'll just sort for three here. Ah, sorry, two. And we are ready up. Actually, yeah, better do that. Then we'll uh, draw back up to five. Get resourceful, Sonic cry for making an entrance, grasping tendrils, and jet black. We go to the villain phase, we add two threats here. Uh, claw attacks, I will play Grasping Tendrils and I will use Resourceful and making an entrance. So we also stun and cancel the attack. These guys attack, I'll just take it. And we get encounter cards. Unfortunately, the mess of things gives us an extra one. So, okay, we die. Uh, no, we don't, but still, uh, we get gang up. 
we can move the stone, these guys deal 3 damage. Then uh, Hydra Legion. Uh, Legions of Hydra. If Madame Hydra is not in play, search then counter deck and discard file for Madame Hydra and put her into play, engage with you, then shuffle and counter deck. Place two additional threats here for each Hydra enemy to play. Okay, mm, so that gets a total of five. And uh, search for the Madame Hydra. Last card is. Uh, Great symbiote. Okay, well, I think that is game. We really can't do that much next turn. But yeah, let's play it out. Uh, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Okay, so this will be the <laughs> last turn. We, we can deal with all of these minions and also defeat Claw. So let's see what we can do. So let's this effort. Uh, the Maldigan could deal one damage to all of these, but it doesn't change anything. Last turn we only had three so enemies, so it wouldn't have been really efficient then. So we can't play any of these, and uh, uh, we draw one card when Claw attacked us last turn. Well, we have a Savage attack, so. Again, uh, we'll just remove the stun so we can play at least play the Savage Attack. So I'll play the Savage Attack and we can't even get it to overkill. But we'll deal 5 here and we'll deal 1 to any everything. So at least Madame Hydra is defeated. And uh, that is all we can do. So. Uh, we will lose if we go to Alter Ego, so we'll just get defeated. Actually, yeah. So we draw back up to 5. Scare tactic, uh, the power of justice, strength, the power of justice, and behind enemy lines, so no help there. So, claw attacks, I will defend. Uh, we are 2 here, so we are all, all so one away from getting threaded out. So, claw hits us for 2. Plus five. Okay, well, uh, we negate three, so uh, we take four, so that is game. But still, I really, <laughs> really struggled with all of these minions. So this pre-built deck is not that great at dealing with multiple enemies, unless I would have had uh, the Multicon in play earlier. Maybe then I could have just everything for one each round and try to uh, manage the other cards but for this turn we would have drawn uh, two extra encounter cards and uh, see what those would have been just numerous another symbiote and uh, all heals and then uh, we exhaust everything yeah well not that Bad, but we, we would have been really close to threatening out also those um, even if we would have survived close attack these guys would have killed us so nothing we could do uh, I, I don't know if I could have played this much better maybe I made some mistakes that would have altered the game but of course uh, legions of Hydra modular set and the mess of things are not the most easy modular sets and even playing on standard difficulty with a pre-built deck and having those modular sets makes the game quite challenging but I, I think uh, with multiple tries I could beat this scenario. We were only 10 damage away from uh, defeating Claw but there was just too much stuff happening so we couldn't focus on defeating Claw and those guard minions just say that uh, I have to deal the damage with other means, so I can't just attack events uh, Claw. We have to ping it with every every gun we have <laughs> all the time and then ignore everything else which will hit us, but still I really enjoyed this game. Hope you guys liked this uh, first play of the Venom Hero Pack pre-built deck. Thanks for watching and until next time.